What's going on y'all? Captain Collier here. Welcome back to the channel. How are y'all doing this morning? It's uh, a little cold this morning. It's about 40 degrees. We're out here on Dolphin Island. I'm out here. Cat Mila over there. He, uh, he done got a mullet. Come a little closer and show the people. He's seen what greatness looks like. <laughs> Just a little baby mullet he's got going on. But yeah, we're, uh, on the, we're gonna be on the Pathfinder today. We're fixing to try and get some barnacles. Last video, I showed y'all how we caught filler crabs for sheep's head. But today, I had a couple people ask, how do I get my barnacles to fish for sheep's head? I'm gonna show y'all here in just a minute. But that's gonna be the goal today. Looks like we got some pretty decent weather out here. Hopefully we can get on some fish. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. So here's our fancy setup here. This is my handy dandy barnacle scraper. Just a little piece of metal that I have welded and screwed into this pole here. We've got a bucket. As you can see along the dot pilings here, the seawall, lots of barnacles, oysters and stuff that we can scrape. We're gonna hang the bucket in the water and try and catch the barnacles. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Wait. This, I want to get, I want to get, yeah, I want to get that big cluster right here first. Oh yeah, right there, buddy. It went in there. Oh, cool. So this is actually harder than it looks, trying to record, scrape the barnacles, and also talk about what we're doing. So I figured I would do a little voiceover. So typically we don't use a bucket. I usually have somebody with a net on the down current side of whatever you're scraping, catching all the barnacles, crabs, uh, whatever it may be. But we did not want to make a huge mess. That's one thing you need to keep in mind when using barnacles. They do make a huge mess, but they work extremely well. So it's worth it, especially when you don't have crabs and can't find any bait. Uh, also use a rock or bring a hammer so you can kind of smash the barnacle up. It just makes it easier to put on the hook, but we use pliers this day to just kind of smash it up to help it out. There's a bite, fella. Pretty sure. That's not a sheep. <laughs> if it is, it's a freaking big one. And that hatch right there. All right, guys, we got us a big fish on here. It's freezing out here. It is a sheep too. Oh yeah, very good one. It's a good one. Watch that bow. Oh, on, the, up on, something. on the barnacle, baby. Told y'all they can't resist the barnacles. He ain't huge, but it's, oh my God. Are you fixing? <laughs> Get that fish in here. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Poop everywhere, baby. That's a, <laughs> that's a nice, probably 17, 18 inch fish. That didn't take long. First hole. Good fish. All right, y'all, there we go. First sheep in the boat. We've been here probably five minutes on a barnacle. He's probably sitting at probably 17, 18 inches. Beautiful sheep's head. We're gonna throw them in the live well. Look at them chompers there. That's why they got them teeth. Be chomping on barnacles and crabs and crustaceans. All right, guys, so that was on a one aught Gamakatsu octopus hook. And this is exactly how I hooked that last barnacle. I kind of crushed it a little bit. Put it right through the meat. Let it dangle just like that. And you don't need a weight fishing with these barnacles because they're already kind of weighted as it is. As you can see, all of these pilings here have barnacles on them. So that's what they're feeding primarily on. All right, guys, we've made a little location change. We're gonna give these pilings right here a shot. It is absolutely freezing out here. I'm trying to get out of the wind. Still using the barnacles. It's a little bit deeper water here. There he is, buddy. He was eating on it. <laughs> Told you. First cast. Just I'll eat him.
Yeah, I guess we can net them. There we go. <laughs> Look who it is. Old Tanner. Get in on that. I, I called it too. First cast. First cast on the barnacle. What'd you think, Tanner? 17. We don't have a piece, so. He's probably 16. Are we throwing your pets back or are we going to keep them? Old oh, Tanner, look at him. He's going to chum them up for us. Don't fill them up. That was literally the first cast. We just pulled up. Y'all know I can't stay away from these sheeps too long. Just, just can't. There's so much fun. Here we go, y'all. Fresh barnacle going out. You really gotta let them chew on these. Definitely ain't stacked up here, that's for sure. There he is. As <laughs> soon as I say something. <laughs> He's a eater. We'll go ahead and eat him in the net, though. You like that net? <laughs> three fish, three different spots. It has been a grind. See, that's sheep's head, Eli. <laughs> See how it's got stripes? It's got teeth. One day, you might be able to catch one of these. Ah, we are back at the rocks now. It has been a tough bite today. Beautiful day. Just fish ain't wanting to bite. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a bump. I think. That's a good fish. Yeah. Nice. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, he better not be bigger than mine. He better be. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Eat that crab. Mm -hmm. Good, good hook set. He wasn't coming off with that no, hook set. Not that one. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, he's finally got one. Here, I'll net him. You got it. Yeah. Hey, I, just, I was just trolling the crab. Trolling the crab. <laughs> this is Eli's first ever sheep's head. <laughs> well, in a while. Oh, we better stop talking because he ain't in the boat yet. <laughs> That's what I did to Barney on the last trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah! That one might be. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe. <laughs> that one's close. Yeah. Another good fish. It only took us like six hours to find the fish. They've been here all along. All right, y'all. So as I just said before, we've been searching for sheeps for probably most of the day, five hours. It's about two o'clock right now. The bite has finally turned on. And uh, we're just using a mixture of filler crabs, which that's a very small one. I might have to change him out and uh, some barnacles, but we're back out here at the rocks. We've got lots of current movement. They are hugging the rocks right up on them. They've been good size today too. Good, good fish. Oh yeah, that's a bite. Take it. Yep. Yeah. There we go. And we're on, on the crab. It's not very big. We're gonna eat this fish. Eat it. Yeah, I've been, I've been needing to eat a fish for a while. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. I got a custom rod coming. The, the CC Yeet stick. <laughs> nice. Yeet. <laughs> I mean, he's probably 15 inches. Decent fish. There we go, guys. He's chunky. Yeah. It's, I mean, feel the gut. Look at the gut. He's probably full of uh, crabs ugly. and barnacles and algae and stuff. Nice hook set. We are keeping fish today. We're gonna to throw them in the box. Well, in the live well, because we forgot ice. Oh, my bad. About average size. Look at that net Nice. Now that that's how you net a fish, Tanner. Yeah. You've been you've I've been, been at home practicing in the bathroom. You've been practicing and researching. 
Yeah. Your effort. A couple of YouTube videos. Yeah. The one of you and mine. Well, that's how I learned how to miss them and do it wrong. <laughs> come on, come on. God! It's a huge crab. I didn't let him eat it long enough. About gave me some jewelry. All these miss hook sets have scared me. Been kind of quiet up there. I've caught two since you've caught your last one. Well, I'm trying to give you a chance. Got him? Good? Like a better one. Half a crab. Oh yeah, on the half crab there, fella. Bring them back here for me. There we go, bringing them in the boat. Yeet. Pow. That's a good one. Hold them up. Nice. Dude, I got pinned the other day and it ended up being a sheep. That's a pinfish. <laughs> I didn't know pinfish. <laughs> I need the net for that one. Yeah. I'm about to get it. You did. No, I'll do it again. That was good luck last time. Yeah, did you see my last net job? Yeah, buddy. You were there, Jason. Oh, yeah. Come on, big. Oh, Jason. You spit that. You do it. They're good at it, too. Fighting the current here as well. Oh yeah, buddy. Nice. All right, I think that's the biggest one yet. Think so? Yeah. You just can't beat the fight of these fish right here. So it came right out. A good sandwich there. All right, guys, we finally found the fish. It's been a struggle all day. It was really cold this morning. I'm, fine. I'm really happy we actually got on some fish, but we're fixing to leave the spot right now. We've got 10 sheep's head, Tanner over here, bleed them out. As I showed in my last video, it does help to bleed the fish and it kills them quicker, so it's more humane for the fish. We're gonna bleed them out, head back to the dock, start cleaning these fish. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all please be sure to comment, like, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, We'll see you back out on the water next time.